thing. Yeah, I know I'm at the glass over at my computer right here. Um, D, the onus, the onus, yep, what's up, baby? Lola Smith, wonderful, uh, let me see. Spanky Mill, what's up, baby? I appreciate the donation, uh, the onus. I appreciate it. If I'm saying that right, I get it. You know I will. I'm gonna put you in the episode as well. So yeah, you know, I don't, we, it's real early, so ain't no telling how many people up this time. So, you know, we ain't gonna wait too long. So I'm gonna uh, kinda talk to y'all. Oh, let me stop this. I am uh, got it on my computer as well and it's playing. So, uh, okay. All right. So, uh, you know, I just want to say a couple of things before we get started. You know what I'm saying? Um, and people will come in and then I call them as they come in or whatever. Uh, SSG, Sammy, Sears, um, Madden Champ, Reese, Chris, Ike, Rabbit, Marcus, Kevin LaThorpe, Trunk Shoes, Trunk Shoes, what? Oh, shit, that's my boy. Linda Rafado, I see you. What Gary Greek in that? What's up? What Keith Smith Cameron? Oh, yeah, it's rolling. I'm looking at my computer. Superfire Hero, Miss Duval, Early Dismissal, The V Show, Keith Persons, Joseph. What's up, Joseph Roberts? Uh, Estevan, Delgado, Dwight Gale, Love and Loyalty, Trey, what's up, baby? The Darkness, Dontrell Blair, what's up? Boat the Goat, Belinda Green, The One, what's up? Eric Wise. What's up, Eric? Jermaine Dabney. Petty Officer. There you go. Daniel Fox. Monique Robinson. Tracy Lee. King Guap. Know I know about that Guap. Quan Robinson. Ethan Lat. I'm going to just say Ethan. <laughs> Uh, Charles Brown, Black Drew. All right, so you know I'm gonna keep kick stay fresh. Theodore Jackson, Reese, Monique. All right, I said you, but you know it's gut. So yeah, guys. All right, so now at this time inside the prison, they thought they came up with a master plan. They didn't came up with a master plan. They hold big idea and big big plan that they sat down and constructed all the minds in one room. Uh, Herbal Honey, what's up, baby? Appreciate the donation. I'm going to put you in the episode, too. I, when I said I had some people coming, uh, Kiana, you, a couple more guys coming. You know what I'm saying? On this episode, the list is pretty long. Chocolate Girl, the Carter 318, Miss Carter, uh, until... until until, I'm going to say Miss Carter again, because I had it, but I think I said Unteria instead of Unteria, like that. But I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together. So I'm going to say Miss Carter 318 for right now. You know, Project Studio TV. What it do, baby? Yeah, so all these minds in one room, guys. Y'all got a little doo-doo. Yeah, so all these minds in one room. And this is what y'all come up with. Y'all sat down and formed the strategy. Michael Campbell. So, Joy Ro J. Rose. Mike Triplett. New Jack Spass. What's up, baby? So, all these supposed to be smart minds that's running this prison and COs and all this. Y'all sit down and the best thing y'all came up with is operation operation whack em round that means take every single block every single block a block j all this man it and scramble these dudes all over the all over the prison so everything as we know it me and new jack 
we got to form different strategies because everything is all changed up. Nothing is the same. They putting dudes that can't stand each other. Fights was just breaking out left and right. You know what I'm saying? Because you got enemies housed with each other. You know, they didn't put no kind of thought to this. They whole thing was just to uncomfortable us. We we want y'all was comfortable. Now we want to take y'all comfortability away. But don't realize this is the biggest uh Japan. What's up, Japan 24K? You know, that that they they whole idea was to whack us around and move us around until we, you know, we scrambled up and they thinking this was gonna stop something and make things better. But they actually, Daryl Lee, what's up? They made it worse. John Rawls, you know, they made the situation worse. You know what I'm saying? Because dudes who was laid low, now you putting them somewhere, they clicking up with dudes and now they think they bad. Or dude who was getting beat up. He found some dudes he latched on to. Now he going back and get revenge on other dudes. Y'all thinking y'all doing something, but y'all ain't. That's why I say, man, this prison uh, shit is a joke, man. It's a joke. And I was just watching something. Look, all right, it was like a CCTV. I don't know if y'all ever seen this. You can catch it on YouTube. It was a bunch of politicians actually watching something like the prison actual surveillance system. And he sit there and say, I can't believe this many fights break out in prison a day. This is on YouTube. You can find it somewhere on YouTube. I was just happened to see it in a short. You know, I was watching something else, but I happened to see that in a short. And he was like, I can't believe this many fights break out in prison a day. What you mean? You should know this. Man, that's what let me know. There's no plan behind nothing. There's no plan. There's no plan. House them. Get that work out of them. Keep them bed filled. Fill them beds up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll, I'll never be one that you could bribe. And, and I'll come back and tell y'all, oh, ain't nothing really happening. Ain't nothing going on. Believe me, there's dudes being bribed. There's dudes being bribed, being paid. I know it's happening because all these influencers, they 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 getting money. They getting money for a lot of things that they saying, you know. And me, like I said, I'm not. Oh, uh, let me see who that was. All right, if I if I forget, if I don't call you, you know, I'm put you in the episode. You know, I see somebody just donated. You know, oh uh, yeah. So you know. I'm just not really getting caught up on this YouTube thing. I didn't come here to really make no money. My business was never struggling. You know what I'm saying? But I'm starting to find out more as I develop with this YouTube thing. And, and me, lately, to keep our numbers rolling so more eyes can see it. It ain't about subscribers. It's about more eyes see it. And that way, in their community, they can do more. That's what that's, what that's about. But... For, for somebody to come on our page and be like, such and such shouted you out, that's if you start getting a whole bunch of views, that's why. No, it's not. It's because I'm working my ass off uh, placing these videos and coming up with plans to put this in people's eyes. I'm working my ass off. This page ain't running itself. Every view that's hitting this page, I'm working my ass off for it. You know what I'm saying? This ain't just happening. I'm doing this. I'm sitting back putting videos in this spot videos in this spot, taking videos from the home improvement section, putting it where it's supposed to go. I'm doing this. You know what I'm saying? I mess with these videos. If I ain't doing an episode, I'm doing some other kind of technique to try to get subscribers in. And my subscribers and my and, and, and my um my new jack crew, they out here telling people about the channel and working their ass off. That's how this channel building because of us as a family. See, this is our hangout spot. This is our safe place. This is our safe place. This is the place we come to hang out with each other and keep it positive. You know what I'm saying? We knew, our, our New Jack crew know from the beginning. The first thing that was ever discovered, I mean, ever discussed, we're not letting nobody come here and corrupt 
our space. This is our baby. We all built this. When I say day one, if you've been here longer than three three months, you day one. That's how I look at that. I don't I don't discriminate saying, oh, you had to be here since. Now I appreciate, you know, and, and put a little bit more on it for people who was there when we only had 500 or a thousand or this. Yeah, and put more on it. But I appreciate all you guys. You've been here longer than three months. You're day one. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just like, you know, and I know why most people do it. Most people do it. Oh, Spanky, I see you, baby. Spanky, see, I've been there since season one. I, bro, listen, I appreciate that too, man. And I, that's why I appreciate all you guys that go back and take the journey with us. Go watch the video. That's why I'm about to stop responding to guys that's asking me stupid questions. Because if they would have went watch the, if they would have took the journey like we did, then they'll know all the answers. Somebody asking, do y'all do y'all even know what dude was convicted of? It's all in the episodes. Go watch the episodes in the lives. I went jokes to jokes, laying out all that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, man. I'm drinking lots of water, man. You know, these actually my first. See, when y'all see me on live, you might see me with Red Bull, but I don't do that all day. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that all day. You know, right now, I need a little energy doing this live, so I grab me some Red Bull or something like that. But I appreciate you guys looking out for me. You know, it's always good, you know. Uh, yeah, but, man, I love all my day ones and all my people that come and truly come to support. You know, I'm I'm here giving, giving knowledge and different things like that. If you feel like you got the knowledge, then move on to where you get more knowledge from. I'm never want, I never want to stop nobody from learning. You know what I'm saying? Or, or getting, hey, boy, what's up, baby? Or... Uh, you know, something that can help their life and push them in a better place, you know? So it's like, uh, it's like, it's just, I get tired of asking, answering repetitive stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, I'm way past that. Now I'm moving. My people know me well enough and know ever so often I drop a little bit more information on them. I know what I'm doing. All this that I'm doing has has a time and it's a it's coursed out. You know, it's like a course. I ain't throwing everything in at once. By the time we finish this, my people gonna know everything they need to know about me. So there's no need to sit around trying to size me up. Anything you wanna know, I'm gonna give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Just hold tight, I'm not gonna give it to you on your time. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not like every other person that's doing this. This is not my means of income. My people know I'm not I'm not all about that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not knocking nobody. Like somebody said, um, everything come out of my mouth is not about another prison channel. You think I've never put myself in a box. That's why I wear all these caps. Because it ain't just about my, I'm in Baton Rouge. I don't, man, I don't rep none of that. Man, I'm good. U.S. You know what I'm saying? I love every state. I don't never put myself in a box. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never just talking about one thing. When I say about donation, this don't mean nothing about a prison channel. So if you ain't speaking facts, don't come at me at all. Because uh, when I say something about donations, this ain't got nothing to do with no other prison channel. You know what I'm saying? I I don't even keep up with that. I try to keep my thoughts and, my, and me pure. You know what I'm saying? So I, like I said, I don't watch anything dark. You know what I'm saying? I mostly watch comedy. You know what I'm saying? I done had enough darkness in my life. So, you know, and guys, this episode going to be kind of tough. Going to be kind of tough for something that happened in this episode. But, you know, we're going to get through it together. You know what I'm saying? And people don't realize, man, I have to I have to live this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling these stories. I have to relive this. And I keep it coming from my subscribers who've been here supporting me for day one. I keep pushing through it every day. I go to sleep and have these dreams over and over and over and over again. My whole day be gloomy after I do an episode or something like that. I have to shake back after one of these, man. People, people, they're so inconsiderate. You know what I'm saying? I know people that then committed suicide. You know what I'm saying? Trying to help others. And then put they self in a bad situation. 
you know, so I ain't knocking no other prison channel. I salute those guys, man. I have no ill will towards nobody. You've never seen me speak ill of none of them or, or nothing like that. Sydney Hill, what's up, baby? I appreciate you. You know, I, man, if we, if we working towards the same goal, you know, and that's to keep anyone, the younger generation, old, anybody from going experience that, man, then I'm all for it, man. So, ain't nobody got to worry about that. I ain't with that best prison challenge shit. That shit don't... You think I, that's what I want to be known for? Oh, man, that dude right there got the best prison... Man, the hell with that? <laughs> man, bro, I don't want that to follow me around. I love kicking it with my new Jack family. That's why I come and hang out. Like this morning, I was thinking about you guys. GP me, I see you now. What's up? I see you guys, and I'm like, man, let me go hang out with my new Jack family. You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's enough of that. We're going to get on into this thing. Um, get into this thing, you know. And and another thing, my I appreciate every one of my NJC crew that get on here and be like, uh, for the likes and this and that. I appreciate them for it. So for you new guys, understand this. I have never, ever once said like something i have never ever once told anyone to subscribe i like free thinkers i like people who think for themselves and know what they want to do they already know what they want to do so why should i have to keep saying it and i'm not knocking nobody who say it this is just me i can't speak for the world you know everybody on here they coming at me if you don't like the content you don't like the, the way i do something go where you like it at you're not going to change anything here. I love who love me. Put it like that. All right. So, okay, guys. Now, before we start this, okay, now, they done took all these, and I want to say this right, these messed up people, uh, Claudius Quick, what's up? All these messed up people from A, A Block. And now they scrambled and mixed in all through the prison. So this is why things going to start happening anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, they thought they had a master plan. Oh, they thought they sun, uh, sat down and then thought about everything they needed to think about. And this was the best thing to do. All right. When I say wake up, you say get to it. Wake up. Get to it. So we woke up by a new CO. Now, he's just a generic black CO. His name is CO Johnson. You know, he never did nothing special. Nothing never happened special with him. You know, he's just a generic black CO. You know, short guy, goatee and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Dark. You know, it, it wasn't nothing special. But he got about four other COs and they waking us up. You know, so we come. I come out to, to roll call. Now... He getting ready to do his role. He talking to the other COs. And I see Chum come walk out the cell. Now, he bust up. I done gave it to him raw. He's standing there like this. And I'm looking at him with a smile on my face like, play with me, boy. Play with me. I'm telling you right now, play with me. I'm going to get rid of you. Play with me. He's sitting there. I mean, everything on his face swole. Man, I, I, I put it on that boy. And like I said, now, keep in mind, my anger is going off at different times. You know, and me, a level-headed dude, I'm trying to control this. I'm trying, but I'm mad y'all done took me away from my mentor. Like, y'all thinking y'all doing something. We in prison supposed to be doing our time, but y'all trying to hurt us worse and worse. Instead of trying to reform us, you doing things that's making the prison worse. Okay. So he, he getting through his role, you know, and I'm just looking around, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> at different people. <laughs> now, and the, so he starts doing the role. So we get two more, we get, well, it's like four dudes that hit the hall. But two of them dudes is coming to my cell because at this time, I only got, uh, we, I'm in a five-man cell. But I only got two cellmates plus me, that's three. So they bring two more dudes, you know what I'm saying? Now, one of the dudes, 
I already know he going to be a problem when he come, how he walk up, you know. He, he still on that young man thinking too. And I'm like, man, why is they putting this dude in my cell, man? You know, so he they going in there, getting their stuff, stuff together, putting their stuff up or whatever. And we still out there. Kiana, what's up, man? I really appreciate you. Uh, I put you in the episode, but I got you coming again. Because I went back through and I seen you came hard a couple different times, man. So I really appreciate you. So, yeah. So, he get through his role. He dismiss us. I go get myself right. I hear up and bounce out the cell. Y'all already know where I'm going. I got to go see Bob and Matt. So, I'm on the walk. I'm coming out the hall. You know what I'm saying? You know, I see Brock homeboy. He dug back in the cell. That's letting me know. You know, I make a note of that. Keep scrolling. You know. And, and prison. At shit. What time? At this time right here. I'm probably like. 28, 29. Something like that. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Depends on what what time you're talking about. In the 90s, now, uh, we'll get to that. Because I don't want to just shout out something. Because at that time, you know, wasn't a big deal about age. You know what I'm saying? But I'll get, I get it to you. We can uh, do a Q&A. You know what I'm saying? I'll give y'all a bunch of answers. Uh, Ten toes. I appreciate the donation. All right. So, so okay. We, 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 doing, we doing our thing or whatever, whatever. So, so I'm walking off the hall. I see dude duck off in the cell. Now, every time, you know, me and him catch eye or something happen, he ducking off in the cell. So I make a mental note and head off the hall. Now, when I get off the hall, we got New Jack coming from all different ways. Jesus, hey, G, here I go, baby. We lining up and dapping down. They coming from everywhere. I don't know where they at. Sayana Norton, appreciate you. I don't know. I just know. On the list, you know, where different people was told to me that they was. But everybody ain't on this list, you know. So, we walking or whatever. We linking up with New Jack as we walking. So, I get up there to Bobby Mac or whatever. I tell the fellas, hold out. I'm about to go holler at B-Mac and I'll be back out. So, as soon as I walk up to B-Mac, he grabbed me and hugged me. Man, they are, man, keep your head up. He, he, he try to run everything it is that he could possibly run. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I appreciate you, Linda Rafael. I, you know, you you my you my family for real. You like always, you know, so I take nothing from her. Like, man, that's that's fam for real. So, you know, I he's trying to put squeeze everything he can possibly squeeze, you know, Superfly Hero. Um into the conversation right now. He's trying to give me everything. So I'm sitting there, you know, listening. You know, and talking to him and asking him for everything as well. So it's a quick conversation or whatever, but he's just telling me how often he want to see me or whatever. He really miss me just as much as I miss him. It's like it's like my father at the time. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's the that's the that's the father figure I got in my life at the time. You know, so um, and like a lot of you know that I I I grew up without a father, so I didn't know. My father, most of my life. The first father that I actually get did know was my adopted father, my, my foster father. And I met my father later on in life, my real father, biological father. You know, he also stays in California, in Cali. You know, so, all right. So, you know, um, I talked to Bobby Mac or whatever, finished that conversation, get up out of there. Now, I hook up with the fellas. We about to go to child. So... We head off the channel. Hold on, guys. So, we head off the channel. Run down. I uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it, baby. So, you know me and the fellas walking. So, now, as we walking and getting closer, you know, to where L at, I see Parrot coming off of L. So, he went on L looking for me. So he coming up now, most of us are already together. It's a few of us still not here, you know, and we don't even know what's going on with that, you know. So I see him, and I'm, man, what's, what the hell is happening to you, boy? Man, I've been fighting with my sellers all night, bro. Man, I'm trying to take all my zoos and shit, bro. 
Let's go. We we marching all the way to sea. Oh, I'm already, man. I already got anger built up. I'm ready to release some of this tension. We had, man, I'm talking about my brother Perry bust up. Say he been staying awoke, awake, fighting all night with these dudes. So we hit, we hit C. When we get C, we catch them niggas and we catch them niggas in boy Q dog. We catch them niggas in action. You heard me? They ravishing his shit. They ravishing. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't about to stand there and try to protect his shit all day. You know, that's stupid. He got brothers. We run in there on him. You, what y'all ain't know he had? Brothers, huh? Boom, boom, boom. We picking niggas up, throw them against the wall. Boom, running niggas head to the rack. Bow. Man, we, we kicking them. What? Bow. Boy, you must think that's a game. Bow, bow, bow. I'm talking about, man, we giving it to them every way we can. Every way we can. I mean, we beat these dudes and beat them. We beat them so much, we want to make sure they understand. Like, boy, we ain't to be played with. Bow, shut up. Bow, we don't want to hear nothing. We want everything. Y'all shit, too. I told you, I'm humbuggish. Stephanie Freeman Warwick, appreciate the cash out. I told you, I'm humbuggish at this time. I'm not caring. This is my real state of mind. I'm not caring. Boom, hey, get all that shit. We want everything. And we're going to put it in his in his locker. And we got to come back next time. We're we getting rid of y'all. We rolling y'all body here. Guarantee. They, man, when we finna beating them boys up, two of them like this. The other one, I ain't going to lie. No, uh, Linda Rafado, you know I appreciate you and you going in the episode. So... The, the other one, no matter how much they hit him, we, they just busting him up. Dude ain't going to sleep. He, all right, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? He he copping. He know what time it is. Nigga going to beat you up either till you go to sleep or till you cop. So we stomp these dudes or whatever, you know. And like I said, now nah, I ain't going to get ahead of myself. I ain't going to get ahead of myself. So after we do that. We talking to Perry, man. You all right, bro? This, this, this good? Now, we now what I left out, I told Maury, you know, just stand outside the cell and watch out. Don't get involved with this because I don't want you, you know, you, your jaw already wired up. I don't want to do the swing of lucky lick and break break a jaw again. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not letting him do nothing with nobody at all. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother, and I really care about his health. You know what I'm saying? And he ready to go in. He ready to go in. But... Uh, uh, Ten Toes say I'm rocking with the Steelers for sure, baby. Uh, yeah. So you know, hit more already, man. Man, let me get some. Let me finish him up, man. Chill out, bro. Man, Perry, you good? Hey, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I can't believe I won't. You know, he he going on on. So we talk to him and try to calm him down or whatever. So once we do that, we get ready to go walk the child. Now. We walking the child, more of the fellas coming up out of different spots or whatever. So as we walking to child, a fight break out right there. Boom, 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 boom. Two dudes just tearing it down. Boom, 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 boom. We like, what the hell? Man, we, bro, these people done really messed up. You think the prison was bad. Bro, you putting people around. Dudes might have been cool and chilling. Because they was around somebody they knew or something. Now you done took all that away from them. You done brought that fear back to some dudes who was already scared. Oh, uh, you done brought that, I ain't got my home in now right here to jokes with to keep me out of trouble. You done messed up a lot of things and you don't know. They didn't know what they was doing. So, all of, like I said, more and more fellas hooking up with us. So we get the child. When we get in child... Roderick and his crew already in there eating. They already, hey, bro, I am coming. So we go, we grab our tray, and all of us that can fit at the table with Roderick, we go sit there. Now, dude, get up. I sit next to Big Bro. So as soon as I sit next to the bro, he like, hey, Big Bro, I got some, I got some shit to tell you, bro. But I'm going to tell you when we get out of here. So I'm like, all right, bet, bet, bet. So we all eat or whatever, child go cool and straight or whatever. You know, we go bang our tray and we head out. Now, 
When we get out there, me, why you like, man, come up here, big brother. We walk up up ahead to everybody, and he get to telling me something. Now the news he give me, I'm like, I can't even figure out how to process this. Marcus Holder, what up, baby? Always represent. Marcus Holder, always represent. So, so uh, I don't know how to process the news he giving me. This is too much. Uh, Perlisha, what's up? NLDs, what's happening, baby? So, you know, Phyllis Foster, Emmanuel Mays. So, I'm like, man, hey, bro, come on, bro. You got to be joking, bro. You got to be. Man, I ain't joking, big bro. You know, I, I was trying to contemplate how I'm going to get his news to you. You know, because I know what it means. Now, the news he's giving me, I have to be very, very cautious how I use this news. How I say it, when I say it, I'm very fearful of using this. Sean Zeno, what's up, baby? I have to be very careful how I use this. Now, me and the fellas, we got Roger down, you know, him and his crew, they got some business to go take care of, so they bust out from around us. Now, me and the crew, we figured that I would be a better spot to hang at. So we start meeting up on I, you know, and we get the middle bench on I. Now, we can see both both uh, the exit, entrance, you know, whatever one you want to call them. You know, both of them are exit and the entrance, but, you know, whatever one you want to call them. We can see both sides or whatever. So now the first comment, all the business we get to talking about, we need to get uh, CO, CO uh, Leathermore to get us a cell phone. That's the first thing we get to running. Hey, man, we need to get Leathermore to get us a phone, bro. He, everybody in the big damn, they got a phone. Now we need one or whatever. So we talking about that. So while we talking about that, a dude come run up in there and he hollered to a dude named Kent. Man, Kent, come take this shit out, okay? Nigga about to get it. Y'all already know we on that. Let's go see. Now, as we running to get to get off, out of here, as soon as we hit the door, heading towards K, guess what the hell we hear? Pick it up. What? We start running faster. Now, this dude knife, he going harder than he went the first time. So, we trying to figure out what the hell happened. And I'm going to tell y'all what happened. So, by the time we get there, dude swung at knife. Knife and move. Huh, 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 huh. Dude hit the ground. Huh, oh, no, oh, no. Knife went in this man about 40 times. We sitting there like, man, what the hell happened? I thought he was saved, man. I thought he had a new outlook on life. This real shit. This is what I'm sitting there like, you know, that's why I'm so cautious now. A dude's hollering about they saved and this and man, I don't be buying that shit, bro. Even on the streets. I don't be buying that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So real, real wrong, ruin, run, running. Happy birthday, baby. So, yeah, Emmanuel Mays. I think I said you, but Emmanuel Mays, if I didn't. So, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, 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 man, uh, Courtney. Yeah, bro. So, we not knowing what's going on at the time. You know what I'm saying? Dudes put us on game. What's really happened. What didn't really happen. So, he hit this man up. He's still in there hitting this man. Everybody sitting there looking. Dudes, you know how dudes is. They eating. Oh! You know, all this ignorant shit around. And I'm looking like, man, y'all niggas dumb, stupid, and ignorant. This man in here jugging another human being up. And this how you feel? You know, they, they egging it on. But at this time, too, I'm like, it is what it is. So, now, at this time, Crazy Steve right here, he's seeing this. So, Knight finished doing what he's doing, old boy. And he walks out. So, when he walk out, Crazy Steve say, Knife! 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 He, he, his voice, just like that, get the trembling. N knife! Never pays attention, never looks back. None of that. Oh, I seen something. I was trying to see what it was. You know, 
I'll I, I go back and look at it. She said, I love you, G, but something. Yeah, but okay. So, so, uh, so, you know, the situation, the situation got Steve because he don't know where knife mine is, if he got his memory back and that's why he's doing this, you know, and, and, and this is me assuming that because that's what I'm, I'm thinking of, you know, he, dude must got his memory back and, you know, he going back and getting paid back, but he going too hard, you know, so that's what got me like, nah, this ain't got nothing to do with that, this something else, this something else, so, so, okay, Steve, he getting annoyed and paranoid because knife ain't answering him. Dude just walk straight off or whatever. So we talking and you can hear um <laughs> knife Myers. I like that. So so uh we we are heading back to I to go back and sit down and finish, you know, talking to things. Courtney, you called that shit, boy. You called that for real, for real. Hey, so you know, uh Melvin T, what up, baby? Uh, Venetia, what's up? So we gonna sit back down on I. Now we ain't. Now I'm a matter of fact. I'm gonna fast forward this up to afternoon, child, cause she kind of go. I was about to say that word. It kind of go dry for a minute. You know, just hear a little bit of arguing, a little different stuff about dudes in their cell. It wasn't nothing major. I'm gonna skip over that. I was gonna tell y'all about that, but it ain't really nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. I'm gonna put actually a part of that in the episode. I'm gonna, I might just flash back. So just remember that. Cause a lot of guys getting confused about a lot of things. That's why I will answer a lot of questions about episodes. If you did get confused by it, you know what I'm saying? But if you didn't understand the words, the actions should have showed you what it was all about. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So, you know, like I said, we sitting back on I. We talking or whatever, discussing some things. So we see this dude come walking in on his tippy toes. You know, dude about five nine. You know what I'm saying? He a ripped up dude, but he he on the he on the the slim side ripped up. You know, he on his tiptoe come walking through. Now he passed us by and look over and say, Thomas, boy, you a hoe. You just like that, Thomas, boy, you a hoe. Thomas, what that about? Man, I, man, I've been fighting with that nigga in these lane, man. That's that whole ass nigga Cornelius, man. So, him and this dude was fighting in Elaine Correction. You know what I'm saying? Correctional. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Corrections. Excuse me. So, you know, he's sitting there. He's, he, he's sitting there looking at dude. Dude walking off, but looking back at him like this or whatever. So, I'm like, man, we got other shit to worry about, man. The hell with dude. So, dude go sit like not this table, but the next table, but he facing us, you know, and he's just sitting there doing this stupid shit, you know. Yeah. 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 Like that, you know, and every time I glance over there to him, talking to the fellas, I glance over there to him. Yeah, and that's what he's doing. He's just looking at my dog, just, you know, I'm like, man, ignore dude, bro. Don't worry about dude or whatever. So I'm telling them about the phone or whatever, whatever, and we, you know, and I'm like, man, uh, Perry, you ain't yourself today, bro. Everybody chiming in except you, you know. We talking to him or whatever, whatever. So, you know, he put in a little things, a little advice about how we could do our routes and how we can meet up and things like this. You know, he putting all this in. Then this little mother got nerves to get up and come back over there where we was on his tiptoes. Say, man, you a whole boy. Bet you won't get up strap one now. Now, uh, Thomas then keyed me in. He bigger than he was when they was in the lane. So, dude, he won't test his strength out. Because the fighting, when they used to fight, they used to be what and what. That's why they used to fight so much. One day Thomas win. One day he win. One day it's a tie. Over and over. So, now, dude ready to go ahead and get that win permanently. So, he walks over there where we at. Basically, won't catch one with Thomas. So I'm like, man, Tom, man, you ain't got to fight, man. We trying, we worry about, man, gee, I got to get on there and do this ball. Now, I'm looking at dude. I'm like, man, Thomas, you sure you won't do this, bro? Because dude, dude, dude look like his skin and got tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, he been fighting a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, worry about the nigga. I used to whoop that. I'm like, bro, it ain't about that, bro. 
You know, I know a lot of dudes how about who they used to whoop in school and elementary school and middle school and dudes come back and wear their ass out. I, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen it firsthand. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have, too. You know, man, I used to whoop you in elementary school. Now I'm going to whoop you right now. Head bobbing. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So, I can't hold Thomas back no longer. Him and, him and he get up. Him and dude line up to fight. They... They, they hate each other so much, they backwards and forward loud. Tank, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate the donation. Appreciate it. I got you. I'm put you in the episode. So, you know, they going hard at each other, hollering back and forth, back and forth. Now, he got two dudes that's standing there that's his homeboys or whoever they is. I don't know. They with him, you know. So, him and Thomas, so they finally get up to it. Big Slick with it. What's up, baby? So they, they finally stand up, getting ready to get into it. Now they go in the blender. Boom, 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 boom. Thomas, come out. He come out the blender. <sighs> Shaking it out, breathing. Whew. You know, he done went in there and got some of that hot dust. Bop, 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 beep, bop, bop, bop. Oh boy, punch him. Oh boy, punch him. So I'm like, hey man, Tom. now I'm knowing my brother ain't going to stop because he. Ain't, this is the biggest thing about men. They pride. He ain't about to stop. He ain't about to let you beat him up in front of his brothers. He'll rather get rolled out before he stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, hot dust. Michelle Lott, appreciate you. Appreciate the cash out. So, yeah, you know, he done ran in and got some of that hot dust up. Come up out of here. Whew. I'm like, hey, bro, you ain't got... Come on. Thomas, go back in, dude. Wow. I mean, I mean... Three pretty licks. Bow, bow, bow. Tommy, hit the floor. Dude, like, get up, baby. I'm going to wake you up. Tommy's on the floor, trying to get up. I'm, I go, hey, little bro, what you, what you want to do, bro? Thomas, get back to his feet. All right, I got him this time. Come on. Thomas, go back in and get in the blender again. Blue, 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 blue. Thomas, come back out. He doing the same thing. Woo, I say, can't say the word bucket. Go in. Bow, bow. Crew come right behind me. Start hitting his homeboy. Bow, bow. I told you my anger taking over. I couldn't stand to see my brother getting it. Boom, boom, boom. We, man, we start busting dude up. Boom. Y'all out here playing any kind of way and we playing foul? I'm tired of playing foul. Bow, bow. Bow, we crushing shit. I'm talking about we hitting dude, see his whole nose touch his mouth. <laughs> Bow, man, I'm telling you, bro, when I tell y'all that shit, I don't be kidding about that. That's how the shit look in my head. You know, now my eyes might be whatever, whatever, but this is what it look like to me. I'm talking about whole fish just, boo. And if you, if you look at them knuckles, you see them knuckles. Them knuckles hard as bricks. Them knuckles hard as bricks. Bam! Bam! And everybody be thinking I'm a small dude <laughs> until they see me in person. And then they realize, oh, that's a big boy. I ain't as small as you think I am. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy when you see me in person. Yeah. You know, so, uh, so we beat these dudes and stomp these dudes out until they cow out back. All right. All right. All right, that's how it is. Y'all couldn't let him fight. Just ain't want to. He the fought till he till his heart pop. We just ain't want to let that happen. We tired of that. We tired of that. New Jack playing with the good heart. We tired of that. And at this point, it's just a lot of aggravation. It's a lot of, you know, I'm damn near defeated at this point. I'm damn near defeated. You know, it's like we can't, Yeah, can't just talk about it, gotta be about it, yeah. You know, uh, and, and at this time, hey, K-Long, uh, Rome, what's up, K-Long? K-Long, uh, K-Long, man, I can't pronounce it. K-Long, uh, Rome, that's my boy, he won that challenge too. So, yeah, you know, and at this time, I'm real aggravated, I'm frustrated, you know what I'm saying, because y'all done took, and like I said, you got no control in prison. Whatever they decide to do with you is what they do with you. And you got to deal with that. You know, so all this anger 
of helplessness and all these other feelings, it then, it then built up. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's, it's like now I'm tired of being the voice of reason. I'm tired of, you know what I'm saying? Everything. And plus, it feels like at this point, all the weight on me, the fellas depending on me for ideas and strategies and solutions, all this weighing on me, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to be like them, you know what I'm saying? All this, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it was, bro, at that time, I'm feeling overwhelmed. Like, I just want to just go out, you know what I'm saying? I can remember that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so, okay, we, we stomp, once we stomp dude them out, they bag on out and go where they got to go talking shit or whatever. We don't move. We sit right back there on I. We sitting right back on the middle bench. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, now we're going to take it up about two hours later. Now, at this time, we playing cards. All of us playing cards, and we talking about, because the COs then came around, did the little check or whatever, looking in, you know, so they done started that. They'll, every now and then, they'll look in or whatever. So they done started that. I guess that's this is what they figure going to make it everything better. We put a Band-Aid on it. So, you know, we sitting there playing cards, and we talking or whatever, whatever. Then, all of a sudden, this is how you know shit then switched up. We see the queens, about 15 of them, come walking up and I go check over there. Check. We're like, what the hell? You know, they was renegade. It, and, and, and after the situation happened, the low arms, got they got him up out of there. You know what I'm saying? He up out of there. You know what I mean? So, uh, they was all scrambled up with no organization with them. They was just everybody for himself, you know? So now it's 15 of them walking through here looking for somebody. Yeah, go check that cell right there. That's his homeboy cell right there. They just going, you know, and I'm going to just tell y'all. So somebody, don't know who at the time, and like I tell you, I tell y'all names and different people because we, I let y'all live it like I'm living it. When I find out about it, that's when I tell y'all about it. You know, so at this time, we don't know who who got them doing this, but they trying to collect all skinny, get money. And when Rondon was handing out snacks and different things like that, they trying to get that payback. They trying to get that pay. So, so they come in and once they don't see who they looking for, they bust out of them. Now, we bust this guy to G. What's up, baby? New Jack, for real. Miss McCoy Loco, what's up, sis? So, we bust out behind him. We won't see what's going on. Hopefully, we see who, who done took over. Because somebody done took over. They back organized. And they back vicious. So, we looking around, trying to see what's up. So, they walking. They going line for line. Alicia Butler, what's up, fam? New Jack. Um, uh, what's up, Rick? So, New Jack, what's up? So, so they going block to block, looking for whoever they looking for. Tim Jones, Giovanni Bradley, appreciate you, baby. So they lent, lent. What's up, baby? So they going through looking for whoever they looking for. They going line to line. They don't find who they looking for. So they still walking. We walking. We keeping our distance, but we walking too. We won't see what's going on. Mac man. So, so while we walking, we see somebody strike up a hall. Just strike out here on my hall. He's just scoo. There you go. It's a dude named Dustin. Now I know Dustin. You know what I'm saying? He speak to me, we speak to him, you know, but he one of them dudes that go around bar and shit too. You know, Lee Richardson. What's up? So they strike out behind him. Oh, bitch, you can't run. k Long Roll, what's up, baby? I appreciate the, dope, the cash out. So, oh, bitch, you can't run forever. We gonna get you. So they taking out behind dude. Now, we running, but we ain't about to keep running and running. You know, so we we start, you know, kind of in between running and jogging, you know, like that. So we get up to where they at, and they, oh, they right there where you go to child with. They didn't caught dude. Man, these queens beat dude up. Huh? 
This the second day. I was talking about they punishing them. Now, this is, see, this is not even what I'm concerned about, what they doing them. Because they also finished dude right there. Get back. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you know. Hmm. They was told, when they finished somebody like that, they was told to do that by whoever running the Queens now. They was told to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, my whole thing is not about what they doing now. Who the hell then took over the Queens? Now, this is, and I know somebody took over the Queens because we hear from another inmate. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, a lot, this just speculation at the time or what another inmate tells. Man, such and such then took over the Queens. And when we get to that part, I'll tell you the name. Such and such then took over the Queen, man. Hey, bro, they really been going in tough, bro. Man, I'm telling you, bro, they been walking in dude's cell, taking all dude's zoos and shit, just taking it. You know, and the queens ain't never used to operate like that. They'll go in for theirs, you know what I'm saying, and make sure you pay them. But now they jacking too. So that's what I said too. Sometimes when, when you take out a leader, it ain't necessarily meaning things going to get better. Because when you take out, it's always somebody who's going to step up. Always. Whether you hustling, whether you banging, whatever you doing. One, you, you take one out, it's always going to be one step up. Nigel Turquoise, uh, Marlon Walker, appreciate, appreciate the donation, baby. So, okay. So, they catch Lil Dustin, and they let Lil Dustin have it, and, I, and, they, and they ain't had to do that because he wasn't even that kind of dude. Yeah, he was going to run and run and run because he ain't had the money right there. Ain't nobody paying, ain't nobody families really sending them nothing right now. Dudes uh, risk their life. To get something from somebody because they hurting right now. You know what I'm saying? So you got to. You, you That's how they got to live. Ain't nobody looking out for them or whatever. All right. So. <clears throat> so. They finish him or whatever. Then I hear them up say, come on. We got to go check on old boy. We going on Jay. Jay? They didn't just did one dude. They ain't stopping, knowing the CO's gonna get whipped in this soon. They going to Jay. That's letting me know they up a notch. They head to Jay. When they get on Jay, I see a little dude. We now we right behind him. They walk on Jay. We walk on Jay. Soon as we walk on Jay, I see a dude go running his cell. This dude got three other cellmates. He in the four man cell. They disregard. The other three, you you know, like I said, you don't go in the man house. This is this is how disrespectful they didn't got. They go straight up in there. Now they don't roll this dude out, but they go straight up in there. And I actually don't even know this little dude. Never even knew who he was. Go straight up in there. Boom, 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 boom. Bitch, we gonna get that money. Boom, boom, boom. You play it? Bow, bow, bow. Queens cutting up. They started back putting fear. That's how I know whoever ran it got a little brain on them, but they're a little heartless too. Because that's the one thing you do when when, when, the, when you go, going back for taking over and going back in power and, and for power in prison, you want everybody to see you making what you're doing. You making waves. So they in here making waves and beating, beating dudes up. Now, Flair, Flair is going to be the last thing I talk to y'all about flat. So now we're gonna fast forward up to uh last child. A little bit after last child, more more closer to lockdown than last child. It's like in between it. So me and the fellas just out and about and walking around. So we hang that right on on uh on the other side of F to come in F. Now we see a dude, he got glasses on and he reading. You know what I'm saying? He reading a little book or whatever. Don't know what it is he reading. You know, but he look like he a smart dude or whatever. So two dudes go up to the dude. Two dudes go up to the dude. And bro, this is this shit was this shit was crazy. They go up to him, they talking shit to him while he's sitting there. He's just sitting there laughing at him. And they popping their mouth out. Man, I see about almost every cell there is in this real shit. Foof, foof, foof. 
They still talking shit. They ain't even paid attention. Angela Gold 3. What's up, New Jack? So, uh, Shamika on here? What's up, Shamika? I ain't see you. New Jack. So, they still talking shit, but they ain't realize a bunch of dudes done got behind them. So, the dude flash stand up. So, so what, so what you saying? What you saying? You know, I love the boys, huh? What you say? They got ready to swing after that. What you say to me, boy? Bow! Bow, 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 bow. Every time they look, boom, 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 they on the floor. Now at this point, they bag. I'm talking about feet, feet and fists. Stomping them, stomping them. King, I just seen it. I got you, man. I'll put you in the episode. King, uh, I, I think it's King J. I ain't sure. I won't say the wrong name, but I got you. All right, King J. Appreciate you, baby. So that's my new Jack. Yeah. Man, I love my family, bro. You know, they always got my back. So, okay. So, they they stomping the hell out of these two dudes. Check this out. This dude do this. Bring them. Man, them dudes grab these two dudes, punching them, boom, 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 boom. Take them in F6. Take them dudes, in, both of them in F6. We stand there. Man, I know they ain't going to do what they think you're going to do. Man, them dudes start taking off their clothes. Yeah, we about to get some of that pussy. We about to get that pussy. Beating them up and say, a dude, I'm trying to tear off that bitch. Hey, no, no, no. Yeah, beat them dudes up. I mean, bro, these dudes try to come out there with everything in them. They never stop trying to come out there saying to do them, beat them so much. You, you can't do nothing else. And they went and started the shit. You know, like, so I ain't never seen that you go start some shit. Then you ain't got no kind of strategy, no kind of plan. You was one of them bullets must have been off of A block. And you thought that shit was going to fly. Because dude always sitting by himself reading. Man. All you see. You even see the little dude. Bitch, bitch, bitch. I told you. Bitch, ass. bitch, bitch, bitch. Get over there. Bitch. I'm talking about he's just like that. He about to tall. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Come on. Beating the shit out of him. These dudes bloody. These dudes beat up. All that. Man, all them dudes yanking on their clothes. Knocking them across the bed. Bitch, stop, stop, stop moving. You hurt my shit. I'm hurting you. Nah. Going up in them. They in there hollering. No, oh, no. They in there hollering. So, okay. Now, so much commotion. And this is why I say this episode tough. And that's why I'm ending it after this. Because, you know, it's a lot of dread up memories or whatever. So, Okay. <laughs> So, and I'm not out of breath, guys. You know, it's just, it's just tough. You know, so we've been watching situation, situation running behind the Queens or whatever. So I turn around and I'm like, hey, man, what period? Oh, man, he don't, he don't like going to the bathroom or whatever, whatever. I'm like, what? Man, come on. Man, he just left you. Man, come on. We get to the bathroom. Man, ain't somebody hit the alarm. Hey, please, hurry up. I fall to my knees. I fall to my knees. Perry then cut his both of his wrists and then jugged himself in the neck. And then jugged himself in the neck. So I'm screaming and hollering. Get, get, hit the end of the car. Hit the end of the car. Get us some help. Get us some help. It take these COs 15 minutes, and we said, we need medical, we need medical. We didn't even call for the COs. We called for medical. It take them 15 minutes to get here. Then when they get here, they ain't got medical with them. It takes them another five to seven minutes. Get out the way, move back. Give us some space. Move, move, move. We down there trying to hold his wrist. We didn't took off our shirt, everything. Wrapping him up, trying to stop the bleeding. So they come back, move us back, and they just standing there with their radios while we didn't let go, you know, the, the pressure, holding the pressure, 
and they just sitting back with the radio. Everybody, move back. Get back. Get out of here. So we just pissed off, you know, because this, bro. So medical finally get here. So they get there. They get to wrapping up his wrist, wrapping up his wrist, wrap his neck, put him on a stretcher, roll him out. Now I'm about to tell y'all. So the brother had already gave me the message this morning that the pair of cellmates violated him. He was violated. We didn't know this information at the time. You know, we heard this from Roger at Child when he said he had something to tell me. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. And like I said, with this, I, I didn't know how to use this information because this is what I was fearing. If I get to telling the fellas, he gonna go try to do this. He didn't want nobody to know. So it was a burden how I'm gonna hold this information, what I'm gonna do with it. You know what I'm saying? How am I gonna actually, you know, tell the fellas or whatever? So they mad. Let's go now. Let's go. Y'all already know New Jack, one for all, all for one. You know, and now they see their brother like this, a brother who with us every day, that they, that got the same memories as us, got had the same adventures as us, all this gone to waste. Brothers through the roof. We just didn't know because he didn't tell us. We thought they beat him up and he fought back all night, like he said, trying to keep his zoos and shit. You know what I'm saying? We not knowing what what had then transpired that night. They beat him up in the cell. You know, we end up hearing from another cellmate, one of his cellmates. They beat him up and beat him up. They say he fought. They say he fought for a good two, three hours. He, he fought until he couldn't swing another punch. You know, there's three dudes he battling. You know, that's a, that's a no-win situation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, bro. So, yeah. So, that, that, that was, it's, it's, that's kind of hard. It's a crazy situation, bro. You know, you can never, ever prepare yourself for the loss of a brother. You can never prepare yourself for something like this. I don't care how tough you is and how tough you like to play. When when somebody that you love, that you spent every day with, and y'all did all these different adventures, that's what we call them, you know what I'm saying? Go through all this thing, thing things together, you know what I'm saying? And just, now, when I wake up in the morning, I ain't gonna see him? That That's over? He and his... His little funny ass jokes and his little sweet ass voice, that's over? Bro, fellas through the roof, bro. Fellas done had it, bro. You know, but I, I'm gonna end this episode here. I appreciate you guys, man. And y'all got an episode coming, man. I'm, I'm working on it as we speak. You know what I'm saying? So I love all my new Jack, every last one of y'all. Sir Tease, I appreciate you, baby. Uh, I love all my new Jack, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'll see y'all soon, man. Y'all have a